Hi guys. Um, yeah, so, yeah, next project. Um, we're building a ash waste board. Um, yeah, it's kind of a hybrid. Um, one of the things that, uh, you know, when I, when I get stumped, because uh, we're having an ash waste weekend in November, and I've been asked to uh, bring some boards, including the wall that I've been working on. Um, so, yeah, this one kind of stumped me a little bit. I was going to build a brand new board, and to be honest, lost, uh, just lost some gumption while I was planning it out. Um, Um, the end, one of the things that I like to do when I get stumped like that is look at what I've already done. And I had a four by four board. Um, some of you have seen the pictures of them. Some of those pictures, uh, were used to sell, uh, Bitcoin mining, uh, when I got hacked last year. Um, so they were up real quick and then they were down. Um. But uh, anyways, I plan on revisiting this board. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily know why I don't have any uh, uh, motivation. Um, but uh, when I switch things up a little bit, um, I'm getting much more motivated. Um, we're going to add, uh, we're supposed to make a four by six. So... I'm gonna add four feet on one side of town, that's ash waste, and four of four feet on the other side of the board, um, that's sump. And maybe we can use this to link up some sump boards, you know, from down under, and, uh, you know, out to the ash waste. Um, yeah, this turned into more of a one-off project into something that I can use you know, when I actually bring everything to a really big space and set everything up in congruence. Um, so anyways, um, let's get into it. So, like I said, um, we're gonna add uh, a foot on either side. Um, so four one foot tiles. Um, yeah, had to actually set up the board um, beforehand. Um, yeah, I'm still not entirely sure if I like this little double plastic that I have on this board. Not that it doesn't work, because once you put the toll bridge on, it doesn't really, you don't really notice. Um, so yeah, the side closest to the camera right now is going to be where the sump goes in and out. Um, the idea on this is that we're going to have vehicles and boats on the same board, possibly. And turns out right about here, I didn't realize that, uh, or at least until right now, that I didn't have all of my scatter terrain that I usually have for this board. Not a big deal. Um, these bulkheads that I have right here, the idea behind this is that... Um, you could uh, raise the toll bridge, and my little crafty quick idea was to throw those little uh, little bulkheads underneath there so you can raise the bridge during the game. Uh, then you set up the tiles on the other side, and we'll, I'm just gonna flip the board around when we get to that point of the, of the build. So, yeah. Right here I'm testing whether I want it over the seam or not. Um, seems like a little thing, but sometimes it's, you know, one of those things that's detrimental when you're trying to use these things. So, um, the idea behind this is to keep building, obviously, afterwards. Um, these kind of, these four tiles are kind of a test for some future things. So, um, 
Yeah, uh, when I'm doing boards like this, it's not a bad idea to pull out a marker. This is just on the plexiglass again, um, like I just did in the uh, the other regatta tiles, Mike's tiles. Um, and, you know, a couple of conscious things. Um, vehicles should be able to get over here and do stuff, not just boats. Um, yeah, the other thing, especially when you're starting on a project of this magnitude, you can get lost as to what you were doing. So yeah, I have this, uh, that pump station there, uh, and that's gonna go on there afterwards. Um, but if you'll notice, I have it written sump. Um, well, that has two functions there. Um, you, uh, you can use those for when you're done building stuff like this. And here I am putting some texture on. Um, yeah, the idea behind this is a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the sump has eaten away the rock a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so when you put the tiles back after you're done building on them. Okay, what do we got here? Oh yeah. This is one of the ramps on the roadside. Um, what we're going to be doing here is... Oh yeah, making the big bend that's going to be on the other side of that piece I was working on before. Um, very much recommend uh, you, you know, if you're going to do some extensive foam work, um, the wand's great, but for stuff like this, that little tool from uh, uh, Woodland Scenics seems a bit pricey, but holy cow, does it make make it up in spades on jobs like this. Um, one of the things I was kind of mentioning when I wrote the little paragraph before, you know, um, a lot of times, you know, you get stumped on a project and uh, a lot of times it's because, you know, it's your first time doing it or something like that. Um, you know, shelve it a little bit, there'll be other projects or you'll be able to come back to it. Um, it's you know, the, the, the conscientious argument about whether the gray pile is actually shame or is it opportunity. Um, used to be shame for me, I agree. Um, and then I started branching out and just opening opening my eyes. There's, you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways to, to cook food. There's a lot of different ways to paint. There's a lot of different ways to, you know, hobby. Um, you know, what, what's wrong with using having a foam cutter that's a little overpriced right away, you know, if you don't use it. But, you know, when you do use it, man, it makes everything easy. So here we go. We're going to be uh, quick gluing everything down onto the tiles. Psst, I'm making one of the biggest mistakes of all time right now. That'll be later, though. So, yeah, um, made a ramp. Okay, here we go. We are towards the end here. And wow, does this look good. Anyways, this is the it for this video. And we'll see you a little later. So, yeah, screw up number one. Um, yeah, I got no excuse. Been doing this way too long, been bragging about how long I've been doing this. And then the first thing I do is, you know, this. Um, yeah, so uh, anyways, um, woo, yeah, yeah. Um, don't believe any of the directions on the glues. Um, I actually did read it, and it didn't say anything about not using it on foam product. Um, and usually they all say that. Um, you know, don't use on foam board. You know. Um, yeah, I knew I should have done it, 
the uh, the right way the first time, and uh, you know I was trying to speed things up, and yeah, just a whole bunch of stupid excuses, and I'm really freaking angry right now. However, um, once again, this happens. Um, there's not much you can do about it once it's done. Uh, I, luckily, everything's dried. It's about eight hours later here since I was working on it. So um, I've got the white glue, and we're going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. All right, back to the video. So anyways, here we are, the regular white glue, which I should have used right in the beginning. Um, we're going to add a little water down. Yeah, there we are. White glue. Doesn't get more basic than that. And uh, funny enough, it does. it's exactly what it says on the package. Who knew for, you know, $8.99 you could get a gal a whole gallon of, of uh, you know, what it's supposed to be. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, we're going to thin her down to water consistency. And then we're going to let her drip. Or we're going to brush her on. <clears throat> then we're going to grab the other side and we're going to brush that on. You can see all of that nice texturing that happened in that foam from that other glue. Um, and again, you know, uh, file this away. Um, that's a pretty cool blasted effect into foam. Um, and it was fairly controlled. I mean, there wasn't even a smell or anything wasn't until I bumped the tiles to kind of check to see if it was dry that I even realized it happened. Um, so, you know, happy accident, little Bob Ross moment there, because that's really cool on the inside of that tile there, or uh, the foam piece. But yeah, you brush the, brush the glue on both sides, just like when I was putting the wall onto that uh, paneling board. Um, goes right on, then the thing you have to do with this is make sure you get her set down and then get some heavy stuff on okay here's the walk through again now that it's glued down properly um yeah looks pretty cool got a couple of ramps going up um anyways uh yeah um this is a great start i didn't think i'd even get this far so you guys have a great night